evening to everyone. I hope that you've been well. Uh, once again, we and to reopen Peninsula Prep. I went by there um, Thursday. Thought we would be well. Initially, I thought we would have rejoined today. We would have been in today, but as things turned, the building, the building department has been by. Uh, I, I was there last week. Hello. And it seems as though uh, they found something else with the building in the gymnasium. Had intended to reopen and put us all in the gym, but I don't know if that's going to happen. Uh, we had some issues that have come up. We're still dealing with the finishing of the building, the roof and the building. Let's see, we were supposed to have returned today. That didn't quite work out. Uh, so the building, uh, looking at it, the inside is fine. It's the outside that's not so fine. It told me it was so not fine. Uh, I couldn't believe the condition that it was in. They. The Department of Building found uh, spaces that needed to be repaired, so they pulled the bricks out to ensure that that fixed and repaired. Uh, the roof is done, but it's still not what we want. That stops it because. Uh, we should be able to get back into the building hard open on March 17th. Uh, that can put on your calendar, March 17th. We will be able to get back into the school. Uh, I was there to check to make sure that we were still on schedule. And fortunately, we are. I will let Johnson uh, morning so that she can arrange busing for children who will be riding the bus. Um, I'm going to parents to create some type of sign for their kids when they're ready to get if they're bus riders that um, so that the bus drivers remember it's been a year we haven't seen our bus drivers for a while. And then so I just want to make sure that the children uh, recognize and that the bus drivers rec rep uh, recognize them. Uh, I'll be in the building every day next week and tomorrow. Tomorrow I get my COVID vaccine. So I don't know what's shaping in for Friday. So I don't know what's happening for me on Friday. But uh, I'll be there tomorrow and then again on Monday. Uh, and I'll be there every day. Uh, I'm there bright and early. I'm there by six. And I leave at two so that the traffic isn't so bad with me commuting back home. So I'll be there making sure it's ready. We'll be in the gymnasium. I had a faculty meeting today and I informed our staff that everyone, this is my calendar, that everyone will be back who chooses to come back to the school. Um, one second. Be there and I don't want the food freezer for two weeks. So uh, Friday will be distributing food to anyone who would like to calendar. Uh, we will be all back in the building. Everyone who wishes to return to the will be back in the building on Monday, April 19th. Uh, that is after spring break. 
was able to discover that I have quite a few faculty members who will be taking a vacation and in days and you know so they can self quarantine or do whatever they need to do see how they are so doing a hard startup again once again this is a definite you can uh you can put this one on your calendar the whole schools reopened on monday april 19th now uh, we'll stay with Wendy through June of, of eight to two. Uh, oh, but back in, when we come back in September, I would and our you know. full, uh, eight to four schedule as we had been. Okay. Uh, for those students who are coming back into the school. There has been uh, some disagreement in the city regarding state testing for our children. And uh, the, the new administration has decided that they do want our children to take their state assessments. Uh, I know that New York City is petitioning the state to not include New York City. But today I received a notice from the state of New Jersey, uh, state of New York for high school students with their Regents test. They still have to take it, except it won't be as long or as much as what they had taken in the past. They have not said definitively that three, that uh, third through eighth grade have, will all take theirs. As soon as we know, we'll let you know, but we are acting in the school that we are taking the exam. It's supposed to be shorter and not as long, but this is a different framing than what the state tests have been in the past. We know uh, that everyone has not had access to regular Wi-Fi. Everyone did not have a, uh, technology so uh if so if you choose not to have your child take that exam that is a choice you can make with no penalty there was no penalty for anybody because uh if the child if kids are not in school getting face-to-face -face instruction then the kids will not have to take the exam. So it's going to be up to you. Yes, we are trying to bring them back, but I'm trying to bring them back because I know they need to be back. So does anyone have any questions? Oh, let me give you some dates. Okay. Uh, for those students who are coming back into the school, there has been uh, some disagreement in the city regarding state testing for our children. And uh, the, the new administration has decided that they do want our children to take their state assessments. Uh, I know that New York City is petitioning the state to not include New York City, but today I received a notice from the state of New Jersey, uh, state of New York for high school students with their Regents test. They still have to take it, except it won't be as long or as much as what they had taken in the past. They have not said definitively that three, that uh, third through eighth grade have, will all take theirs. As soon as we know, we'll let you know, but we are acting in the school that we are taking the exam. It's supposed to be shorter and not as long, but this is a different framing than what the state tests have been in the past. We know uh, that everyone has not had access to regular Wi-Fi. Everyone did not have a, uh, technology so uh if so if you choose not to have your child take that exam 
That is a choice you can make with no penalty. There was no penalty for anybody because uh, if the child, if kids are not in school getting face-to-face -face instruction, then the kids will not have to take the exam. So it's going to be up to you. Yes, we are trying to bring them back, but I'm trying to bring them back because I know they need to be back. So does anyone have any questions? Oh, let me give you some dates. You know that we go out on spring break uh, for the 29th through the 2nd, the 29th of March through the 2nd of April. We are going to have a simulation test in March. And what that is, it's going to be March 24th and March 25th, uh, as everyone will be uh, taking, uh, we're going to give third, fourth, and fifth grade only the math exam because there are manipulatives that they'll have to use, and these are online manipulatives. They're not going to take the ELA because what they do in class already is very similar to that. Um, so we're only going to take math, and it will be March 24th and 25th, okay? We're not pushing, we're, you know, if kids don't come to school on those days, it, it's a choice that was made, it's no problem. But the only way that you will take the, the kids will take the exam is if they're in the building. The science, the fourth grade science test will be between May 25th and June 4th. We have not set a firm date and the written test will be, this one's firm, on Monday, June the 7th. Um, the ELA exam will be during the week of April 19th through April 26th. We have not chosen a date, but it will be in that framework. And the math exam will be within the week of May 3rd through the 10th. So we have time. Uh, lessons have been going on. Teachers have been doing what they've needed to do. So our kids will be ready. They won't be shocked or in something that they don't know anything about. So any questions? Oh, you can put them in a chat or you can just say your question. Yeah. Will I have they a be stuck in their grade if they don't take the test? No. No. If they don't take the test, they it's nothing. There is no penalty. There is no penalty to not taking their test. I have a question. None whatsoever. 